So as you can see, I got a new banner. Best Tire Shop is a really cool shop. You guys go check that out. Society too, go check it out. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, I want a big shout out to my friend. I want to I want to give a big shout out to my homie Henry. He's the one who helped me get these lowers. I'll put his uh, link in the description for that brand and his uh, and his Instagram. Um, as of right now, what I'm doing, I don't know what happened here with the trunk. But when I took off the wrap, uh, or when I took off the wrap, uh, I painted this before it. I want to see if I can get it uh, red before I wrap the whole trunk. So I messed it up there with all these little ugly uh, little emblems since I deleted them basically. Um, I'm repainting this whole lower part of the hood. As you can see, I gave it like a little trim right here so it can line up with the different lighting. So it won't look way too off. I'm painting that right now. And uh, I just did, uh, did my little toe hook coming out of the hood. Looks really cool. Just did a simple little cutout. Uh, got that in. Looks really cool. Uh, bumper came out nice. Next thing I'm gonna do is paint the side skirts in a bit. Got the real wheels on, or got the green wheels on for now. It's gonna be the first wheels I'm gonna uh, go drifting with. We are drifting on the 27th of this month. We're going to Grange. If you guys see this video before that you guys wanna come and watch, go ahead. It's 10 bucks to get in. It's at Grange Motorsports or Grange Circuit, whichever one, however you guys wanna call it. Uh, that's where we're gonna be at. Uh, my friend Henry on the videos you just saw too, uh, we just installed his PVM uh, angle kit. Although I did get there a little bit late so I wasn't able to film everything, but I did film enough to get some good footage. Uh, as well, I got some footage of them installing the lovers for me. These are really nice lovers. They're really good quality. Uh, just him and his friends installing this for me. Really cool people. Uh, they did a really good job on this. They took the time. I had a sticker behind there, I don't know if you guys remember in the video or my other videos, but they were able to take it off, clean up the windshield, make it look really nice before they installed this. Uh, 3M taped this all the way through and installed it for me. They did a really good job. It's it's crazy how good of a quality this thing is. Uh, this is their brand. I'll put uh, the link in the description. I'll put their link in the description. Really cool overs. Uh, they look really cool on the fucking they look really cool on the car. Uh, I've seen them on other cars and they also look really good as well. Uh, make sure to check those out if you guys are interested in buying them. The link is in the description. They're affordable, they're really nice, and I think they're worth it. Uh, anything else new? I got the hydro working, I did a test. If you guys want to see that testing, go to my Instagram and you guys will see it there. Uh, my friend let me borrow a passenger, passenger bright seat so I can have some ride-alongs with, with a couple of friends. Uh, so shout out to Chris for letting me borrow that. I installed the the Sabelt harnesses, and I think right now I'm gonna paint my harness bar, the one I made in the other videos. I might paint that right now, but first I'm focusing on doing the trunk first. And uh, when I got it prepped up, I just gotta primer it, paint it, and wet sand after, and then I gotta do the side screw next. Other than that, I think the car is completely done. It's a whole new style again. Uh, I'm just really tired of the red, so I'm I'm so happy I went back with the gray. The car looks way better. Uh, it performs a lot better now. Uh, the car just feels really, uh, it feels more sturdy ever since I got the new seat. Fixed my steering wheel problem, got the hydro in, the car feels like a whole different thing now. Uh, but yeah, yesterday I was there at a Best Tire Shop. Best Tire Shop. Uh, really cool people, really humble. Uh, again, if you guys are watching this video, thanks for having me there. Uh, thanks for the install on the Lovers. And, uh, you know, just thanks for uh, letting me film like some of your guys' stuff. But, uh, it's a really cool shop. Uh, make sure you guys check that out if you guys are located in Fontana. Maybe Riverside, if anything, if you guys are willing to drive all the way over there. But it's really worth it. Uh, they do some good work there. And uh, yeah, that's just like a quick little update on the car for now. I'm just doing that. Just for now, I'll show you guys uh, the results on first uh, coat of paint and then little by little do more and more. But more info. Grange, the 27th of this month, it's from, I think, 6 in the morning till 6 in the afternoon or maybe 5. We're going to be there uh, the whole day there. We have about, like, maybe 5 or 6 of us from the Icy Boys group. If you guys don't know what Icy Boys is, link is in the description. You guys will see it there. It's me and my friend's group. Uh, me and a couple friends, and we're all in one group. Uh, it's all the people that you see in my other videos with the ISs and stuff like that. That's all of my friends. Those are, are in our group. Our group is Icy Boys. Um, I got some another pair of tires back there but for now I have all those tires back there if you guys can see 
have about maybe there's more over here you can't really see there's more behind the dumpster but I probably got like about uh, 10 tires right there or 10 wheels with sort of new tires uh, I got these on right now I'm gonna have some other stock 350 in the backyard that I'm also gonna install new, new uh, or sort of, sort of new used tires and uh, yeah so I mean I'm really excited because I'm finally gonna get some seat time again and it's finally in the range and finally a car that I actually feel comfortable in uh, I don't know, I'm just really excited. I, I, I just can't wait for that day. It's, it's gonna be so fun. Uh, anything new on the car was just probably just the tow hook. Uh, got everything else running. Got everything else working, if anything. Uh, got some really cool decals from Zosiety and Best Tire Shop. Painted this little thing in my jig. Painted the orange. Uh, put some smaller tires on these uh, carbines. The other ones are too big and they're rubbing really bad, even though I'm still rubbing somewhere up here, so I gotta do that. I'm gonna raise up a little bit uh, the front of the car and lower the back a little bit more so it can look like it's sort of squatting in a way, and at the same time, it could be a little more functional for the front. And I don't want it to look too high either, so I'm gonna raise up the front a little bit because uh, the one, is, one side of the bumper, since it's fiberglass, it kind of like molded down a little bit weird, so it keeps scraping on the floor every time I'm driving normally, so I don't want it. I don't want to uh, mess it up either because we just worked on it, but I did mess it up actually. I was going to work and I don't remember what I hit. I didn't even think I hit anything, but I already cracked it. <laughs> so I might drift with it at Grange if anything, but most likely I won't. I don't want to mess it up yet, but I might. So I mean, I hope all that goes good. I hope nothing really messes up that bad. But again, major shout out to Henry and Oscar Society, best tire shop. For the lowers and for you know just for your good uh just for some good hangs you know really cool people so for right now i'm just gonna i'm getting my paint ready I'm getting it painted these you can still feel a little rough but i am putting my old nismo badge and i might put a nissan badge again maybe i don't know i'm still thinking about that but if this comes out ugly if it shows too much like too bumpiness because it's kind of cracked in there and all that i might just uh put the badge in if anything so so I already got the clear on. Only thing I need to do is let it dry and then wet sand it. Even though it already looks kind of reflective. It's getting there. Uh, a friend of mine's Wes. He just pulled up right now. His clean ass E46. I think it's a drain plug that's, that I need to change. It's like leaking a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of common. Huh? It's very common. 